Okay, y'all ever heard of super dollars? Nah? Well, sit your ass down. You gonna like this. They just like regular dollars for a tenth of the price. These shits look 100% genuine to 99% of motherfuckers. Only they fugazi as a bitch. Kenny heard about the lick through this Korean dude. Bottle service, VIP type at the club. He was running a printing press to the feds to kiss counterfeit plates for their own usage. If we help him get them back, he gonna pay out big. This a big one. Hijacking an army convoy going to some IAA ass Nunaki black site. We need to track the convoy, disable their security, and get this fool his plates. Then he gonna make us rich. Hey, hope you got a clear head cause this some serious shit we about to pull. These super dollar printing plates ain't just under lock and key. They got the whole motherfucking army sitting on top of them. This Korean boy who paying us reckons they're gonna be coming out of Fort Zancudo in a convoy. We gotta know when it moves. I've given you a cell phone tracker. Get in the base and plant it on a trailer they gonna use to transport the plates.
house to base. You see, in them fucking super notes. This whole thing ain't doing too much to restore my faith in our foreign policy. security system before they realize what the fuck's going on and nuke your ass. Lucky for us, one of Kane's other contacts is some hacker fool, and he told us about some other hacker fool who got just the right tech. So we find him at one of his favorite fast food joints and we steal it. Location coming in hot, along with a pic I got off his Life Invader page. I make your job easy, huh? Let's go.
to go in that crusty dude's apartment. Yo, Seth told me we got some hacker shit. Good work. A piece of hardware is a powerful thing in the right hands. Let's get it on. North. Next stop, Fort Zancudo. The convoy with the counterfeit printing place is leaving any minute. Let me get K up in here. What up, though? Showtime, babe. Oh, your timing couldn't be better. Just got my ass in the hot tub. Without me? You don't need no invite, baby. You got an all-year pass. I got your glass right here, baby. Soon as we done with these bank plates, why don't you just pull up, baby? Maybe. All right, girl, I got the hint. We talk business first. Now hit me with that plan again. This Korean boy we working for is hype. Been texting my ass all day. I don't understand shit. All right, we got a tracker on the truck with the plates. We got the virus from our little hacker buddy to disable the security system. All we got to do is stop this motherfucker. Get the printing plates and get away with our asses intact. Uh, baby, you make this shit digestible as a motherfucker. And this Korean boy gonna pay. Hold up. Let me set this tub on energize mode. Oh, <laughs> yeah, baby. Now I'm ready. Let's do this. You weren't supposed to ask that shit. I don't know. I figured maybe it came up. Nah, nah. Ain't nothing come up with these fools but the last party he had. Never sees as amazed to me the shady ass motherfuckers you meet in the fucking green room at a nightclub. This dude started talking about super dollars and shit. How they the perfect counterfeits and my ears prick up. Next thing I know, he's asking me if I knew someone who could rob the printing plates off a military convoy. Ha! For real? Yeah, I said I might know a girl who can set something up. You know, boom, and we out here. engine makes on the freeway. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Can't tell with your goofy ass splash around in that tub. Ain't nothing goofy over here in this tub. Listen, that gearbox is a motherfucking orchestra.
Once you pull up on them, get your head straight. If they think the truck about to blow, they gonna have to pull over. So light that shit up. Just stay cool. Just fuck that shit up a little bit. If that truck explode for real, we ain't getting shit. This is a weird ass situation, all right? But not as weird as some of these 4 a.m. conversations I had in these motherfucking nightclubs. Now let's make my dude happy and get him those printing plates.
Y'all remember when I said I've been in weirder situations? That was before we got the army up in our shit. I don't know what it's like up in Detroit, but down here, some of the military is like the state board or some shit. <laughs> I ain't worried. You forget who we got behind the wheel. Can't shoot what you can't see. I know that's right. Your ops motherfuckers to the drop off. Lose that shit. Shit, y'all. Y'all had me glued on the television. Hey, Kay, I've been thinking. This Korean dude, he gonna pay us in real dollars or super dollars? <laughs> real dollars, nigga. That shit hit my account before we hand over them plates. Ah, oh, yeah. That's business, baby. You still in that tub? Hell yeah, baby. Pop the cork now. This shit is in the bag. Order another bottle. I'm on my way. Don't worry about it. I got you, baby. What up, though? I need some room service in this bitch. I need some champagne, some liquor. What you got? I need something up in this motherfucker. Now. Yo, party boy said you got there. Hell yeah. That motherfucker paying out right now. Plates, yo. That was some tell your motherfucking grandkids type of shit on that freeway. And that Korean boy, damn near parted himself back across the motherfucking planet when he saw that hall. My kind of payday, let's do that shit again. <laughs> 